Hi guys, it's me, Sharon, and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for subscribing. Your support of my channel means a lot to me. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to show you how I created my home accent lettering. This is a Pinterest this is a Pinterest inspired project. I got my lettering from Michaels. I got the H, the M, and the E. I also got the O in the natural ivy branches. And how she did it was she took the, the branches, wrapped them in boxwood leaves, and mounted on a mirror. I think it's gonna turn out absolutely beautiful. The mirror gives it that reflective quality and the boxwood causes it to pop. And I think that's one of the things that made it so attractive to me. And I thought that was such a creative idea that I would, I would recreate it here on Creative Glam. So again, shout outs to the lady on Pinterest. I looked at it and I thought it was absolutely beautiful and I knew that I could do it as well. So um, I'm excited to show you what I've done and I'm glad you're interested in seeing. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is transform this O by adding the boxwood to it. I'm going to use the uh, floral wire to shape the boxwoods around the O. So let's get started. What I'm trying to decide is what's going to be O, what's going to be the top? I think I'm going to do it like that. I like that. So. What I need to do is I'm gonna have to curve it. I'm gonna have to bend it some. Ooh, too much. So I'm just going to form it so that it fits. You know what I'm thinking maybe I can stick them down in here I'll probably still end up using some of the floral wire too but this may help me to get started at least first thing I'm gonna do is add a little e6000 to the edges of the glass Then I'll take my hot glue So I'm going to glue that into place and then I'm going to come back with the floral wire and tack it down where it needs to be tacked. That's how I'm going to do that. Uh 
And as you can see, I'm just taking the straight ends of what I had clipped, the straight end of the floral wires, and just kind of tucking it in, going underneath, uh, going underneath the top layer, but still, um, I don't want to say echoing down, but still uh, tucking it so that I grab some of them that are underneath to kind of give it more of a, a rounded shape. Oh, that's cute. Now I'm gonna put the um, the command strips on the back of each lettering, and that's how I'm gonna mount them up on the wall. You know, it's the Velcro kind, so that I can Velcro them together when I'm ready to take them down. I just pull them apart and then use the command strip to peel it off the wall safely. All they had was the nine pound ones. I was looking for something that was maybe like at least three pounds, but they didn't have any. So I went with the heavy duty ones. You don't have to get nine pound strips. You know, a three pound would be just fine. Okay, now I'm ready to mount them on the wall. Let's go. Yay! I love it. I think it turned out really cute. I wanted to keep it simple because it's in my foyer and I didn't want it to be too much. Maybe if it was in a bedroom, I'd consider embellishing it, but I thought for the foyer and what all is here that less was more. And I think I hit that right on the head. I think it turned out super cute. I love the way it looks. But depending upon where you place your lettering, you can embellish and do all those different things as I spoke of. I saw pearls, rhinestones, flowers. It just all depends upon where you're placing it and what your surrounding area looks like. As you can see, I'm recording from a different angle within my office. I hope you don't mind just doing something a little different. And with that being said, I thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to comment. Oh, and don't forget to hit that notification bell because that notification bell will allow you to be notified when I upload new videos. I upload new videos every week. Don't forget to tune in next week. Have a blessed day. Bye.